Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In, in the previous tutorial, we have learnt about off amp and its uh, few applications and what uh, the circuit diagram and something like that, right? It's simple, everything we have discussed. So now let us go further deep into the operational amplifier, its uh, equivalent circuit diagram and how it is created. Okay guys, so stay tuned to learn all about it. So basically the equivalent circuit will be something like this guys. Inverting terminal will be V1. Remember, whenever you write inverting terminal, write the sign. I think I have just forgot it everywhere. Okay. So write the sign V1 and V2. So we will be connecting them with a resistor. That is really, this is the internal connection, guys. We have just drawn a triangle, right? Two inputs and one output. That's a triangle. That's it. So the internal, it will be like this. So there will be a resistor here. Here, this output is given to a resistor and it's given to a diode. Okay. So this will be our equivalent circuit of practical operational amplifier guys so now i hope everyone is now clear with this diagram so basically the output section consists of a voltage control source that is nothing but this in series with the output resistance r naught okay the difference between the differential input voltage v okay vd is nothing but v2 minus v1 as v2 i have told you that it is positive this is negative when they both come near positive minus negative v2 minus v1 that's how i got vd so the output voltage is nothing but A into VD, right? This is the output voltage, okay? So A into VD, where VD is this. So A into V2 minus V1. Here A is the open loop voltage gain, guys. This we have discussed in the previous chapter also. In negative and positive feedback networks also, we have discussed about open loop gain, A. So now, I hope everyone is now 100% clear with the equivalent diagram. So now, let us go through the pin configuration of operational amplifier. Guys, this is an important thing, guys. This may be for two marks, or if we are lucky, he'll be asking all about operational amplifier, right? All about operational amplifier, diagram, it equivalent diagram, and draw the pin configuration. That's the most important thing, guys. Okay. Basically, let's go through it. So, basically, operational amplifier is created by using eight pin configurations, guys. It's originally made, has eight pins configuration. So the first pin and fifth pin will be in use at some time. Okay. And, okay, just give me a second. I'll be checking it, I'll be saying. Okay, that's it, correct only. One and five can be used in some other cases. But in our normal case, normal operational amplifier part, sorry, practical operational amplifier has totally five pins, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Out of eight pins, we'll be using only five pins. So the second pin will be used as inverting input, okay, and the third pin is used as non-inverting input, and the fourth pin is this, minus volts, we are giving minus EE, I have discussed you, that will be our fourth pin, the fifth pin will be empty in operational amplifier, and the sixth pin, sixth pin will be our output, and our seventh pin will be this, so two, three, four. 5 is out, 5 is out, 6, 7. That's how our pins are divided, guys. So, I have just wrote all that I have discussed now in terms of points as all about pin configuration of an operational amplifier. So, let us go through M. Totally, it has 8 pins. Okay. Positive volts is given to the 7th pin. That is nothing but power supply, guys. Positive power supply to the 7th pin. Negative power supply to the 4th pin. Represents the power supply connection. Okay. The typical value ranges between positive 15 to negative 15 or positive 12 to negative 12. Fine. The inverting pin is marked as negative sign and the pin number is 2. I have told you that. The non-inverting pin is marked with positive and the pin number is 3. I have marked that. The output is labeled as V0 that is pin number 6. Okay. Pin 8 is a non not used and marked as NC. No connection. Got it guys? So, 8 pin of, is of no use for this topic. Okay. So, the remaining pins, pin 1 and pin 5 are called as offset null terminals. These are not used in this circuit, but they will be used in another creation of another different, different types of materials. Okay. So, all inputs and outputs are measured with respect to ground. Okay, guys. So, now I hope everyone is now clear with this topic. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through block diagram of operational amplifiers, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.